my mom and dad got me um, a Nintendo Switch. They got you a Nintendo Switch just for fun? Are you serious? That is so much fun. So have you been playing a lot on it? I bet you've been playing Mario Kart 8. Haven't you? I knew it. I knew you'd be playing that. All right. And Pokemon. And Pokemon. Hmm. That's pretty fun. Oh, yay. What, do you know this book already? Oh, man. Okay, we're going to read this one first, and then we're going to do this one next. Sound good? Okay, so, like we've been doing before, I'm going to listen to you read, and then we will go through and do this book next. Sound good? Alrighty. So, we're going to read this book, and this book is called Gaston. And this it's about a little puppy, and you know... You know my last name? Your last name? Ryan. How do you know that? Parker Ryan, because you told me that on the first day that I met you. And I remembered. So, it's this little puppy... My brother's last name. Ryan. Ryan is my... That's last name. Ryan. No. No. What's his last name? Yeah, I need to think about it. I need to think about it. I know who it is now. What is it? Virgil. Virgil? Well, that's a nice one. Alrighty, so we're gonna focus our brains and we're, I'm gonna have you sit on your bottom because you're gonna show me all the words that you know in this story and what you can tell me about this story, okay? So this book, we'll do a little picture walk first. So this little puppy, his name is Gaston. So that's what the author calls him. He names him that and it, it, this story is about a little puppy and he doesn't really look much about like his other little siblings so mrs poodle is his who owns him and you know what she thinks her puppies are so cute but gaston looks a little but bit different can we read the names? yes we can read the name so this one is fifi fufu fufu i don't know what that one is ooh la la and Gaston. That's good that you asked about the names because they're important. We see them a lot in the story. So then one day they decide to go to the park and you know Gaston meets a really important person. They meet all different puppies but the most important one that he meets is this one and that's a tough name. Her name is Antoinette. Can you say Antoinette? Antoinette. Yeah so that's Antoinette and we'll see her in this story a I'm lot. the names. Do the names again? Okay, here. We'll start here. Wait. Fifi, Fufu, Oh La La. Ooh La La. <clears throat> the main character. What's his name? Gaston. Gaston is his name. And then... Rocky. 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 Ricky. Boom. You got it. You were really close. Bruno. Bruno. And, and uh, mm -hmm. You've got it. Antoinette. That's a hard name. But we'll remember it, won't we? Antoinette. So yeah, we'll see what happens when Antoinette and Gaston meet each other. Okay? Alright. Lots of little puppies throughout the book, huh? I'm excited to read it. All right, so I'm gonna have you gonna read this read for me, and I at the I mean, and once you're done reading, I'm gonna have you retell me what happens. Okay, so while we're reading, I want you to be thinking really hard and using your brain to remember what we're reading. Okay. All right. What what word or what letters do you see here? A D M I R E D. And what is that? What what do you think that says? Alarmed. Good try. It's admired. 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 New puppies. Fifi Fufu. Oh la la. And gas. Yep. Good job. Do you know my mom's name? 
I do not know your mom's name. It's Ashley. It's Ashley. What is my dad's name? I do not know. Let's focus our brains so we remember what we're reading. Would What's you up? like to see them again? Oh, we skipped the line. Which word are you stuck on? What do you think it says? Perfectly. Yeah, that's exactly right. I don't know that word. You don't? Precious. Precious. Aren't they? Must poodle fuss? No, too. The puppies grew as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. Good job. Then far farther. Fourth. Fourth hour. continued to grow and grow until he was a size of a teacup. Can go get a drink? Sure, you can go get a drink of water. And go to the bathroom? Yes, no problem. Let's start right back up. Miss Poodle took Good job. What do you think that word is? Right. You're so good. Look at In you. Teaching her puppies how to be proper. What do you think it is? Pooches. Pooches. Good job. They were so. What do you think that word is? Taught. Taught. Good job. Never slobber. <laughs> Good, well done. Very nice. Nice try. Okay, him. <laughs> oh, I forgot. 
what does that one say? They were taught. Taught to yep. <laughs> never yap. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Rough. <laughs> You're doing great. And they were through to walk with grace, never race. Tiptoe to be toe. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. It's like Why are you checking off the words? I'm checking them off because those are all the words that you're reading so well correctly. Wait, what's that one too? Taught. The puppies were that's also... It. Here you go. Good job. Through how to look pretty in pink. Mm -hmm. Nibble their kibble. And ride in style. Style. Whatever the lesson guess guessing mm -hmm. always work the hardest. What do you think that word is? Protected. Practiced. Practiced. The longest and smelled the biggest. Smiled. Smiled the biggest. Good job. Miss Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies. Fifi, Fifi, Oh La La, and Gus. Yes. Yeah, good job. Spring arrived and the proud mother was eager. Good job, eager. To show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was much to see. What'd you say? I think I heard it right. Yeah, say it out loud. I hear it. You're saying it correctly. I think you can. What did you? What do you think it says? I heard you whisper it over there. What do you think it says? Just a guess. If you don't know it, I'll tell you, but I heard you say it over there. What did you think it was? Okay, daffodils. Daffodils? Yep. Ducklings, dogs. Oh dear, who do we have here? <laughs> Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and El. Need a reminder, Antoinette. Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? No. No. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Dan Fournette. Good job. This was more than a little. Awkward. Awkward. The mother's side 
the puppies the puppies side up one another. The steams there's been a trouble mistake. Miss Bulldog said breaking Blake King, the stones. Silence. Silence. Good job. I can pick up right here. Okay. So it says, wee wee, Miss Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with Grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There. That looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Foo wee. On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Ick. <laughs> Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her, pearl, with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right, and it felt right. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Ricky, Rocky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. Aww. Okay, so from the beginning, can you tell me what happened in the story? Starting at the very beginning. Who is the main character? What was his name? Gaston. Gaston. And what, what happened at the beginning? Do you remember? Mm. No? Do you remember what happened throughout the story? Mm. Not really? Where'd they go? Where'd the to puppies the, all meet? To the park? Yeah, they went to the park. And what happened at the park? They took different puppies. Yeah, they took home different puppies, didn't they? Do you remember any of the other puppies' names? What do you? What were they? What? Do you remember any of the other puppies' names? I don't know. Gaston and Gaston. Um. You remember this puppy's name? Look on the back. I uh, found the page with all of them, didn't you? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antonio. Good job. Yep. Did this book remind you of anything? Mm, no. No. Did it remind you of your puppies at all? No. Didn't remind you of anything? Do you have any connections to the story? Didn't make you connect to anything? No. I have a dog like that. You do have a dog like that? But it's um, brown and white. Ah. What's that dog's name? Um, um, its real name is Bo.
Johnny, but I call um her um, Bon. You call her Bon. Aww. How did you like this story? Yeah, a little bit. Do you like reading stuff about dogs? Good. All right. Well, you did a great job reading. I want a fact book. You want a fact book? Okay. I'll try and bring a fact book next time. Wait, no, not fact. Wait. Oh no. Wait. Don't let the pigeon run through this. Well, that Wait, is exactly what we're gonna do next. Oh, it's don't let the pigeon stay up late. Yep, that's what we're reading. You excited? Mm -hmm. All right. So, where is my paper? I'm disorganized, aren't I? Oh, here it is. Okay. So, we're gonna read. Have you ever read this one? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. You said you read this one? Oh, perfect. You already know it then, don't you? All right, so we're going to go through it do together. Do I have to do this? Do you have to do this? Yes. So what we're going to do at the end, once we're done reading, is I, you're going to answer the question, should the pigeon be able to stay up late? And I'm going to write it all down for you, but I want to hear your ideas. Okay. Sound good? Okay, and then while I'm writing down the words, I'm going to have you jot down any of the sight words that I write down. Sound good? Those are words you know, aren't they? All right. So don't let the pigeon stay up late. I want to read it. Oh, you want to read it? All right. Oh, good. It's you listen. It's getting late, and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Oh, man. This pigeon is funny. Thanks. <laughs> First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No. I hear there's a good show about birds on TV. Tonight. Tonight. Should be very ignorant. Educational. Educational. What? Cat? Do you know what educational means? There's a lot to learn from it. So it says, I hear there's a good, bird, a sh good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. So he's looking to watch this TV so that he can learn about birds. He is a bird. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme? Scheme of things. Wait, what? That means yawn. Um, you know what yawning is? What? What? <laughs> I'm not tired. Why? Why no? He's saying, you know? You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. <laughs> oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? <coughs> Studies? Studies? Show that pigeons hardly needed any sleep at all. Hey, hey! Ooh, ooh. This here pigeon just won't go. Please! Have you ever begged your parents like that? Please! It's the middle of the day in China. 
I'll go to bed early tomorrow night. Instead, my bunny wants to stay up too. Do you have any stuffed animals that you sleep with? No. No? Do you have a blanket? Yes, I have a sheet and a blanket. Do you have one that you sleep with every single night, the same one, like a baby blanket? No. No? I did for a long time. Mine was pink. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? He's really trying to stay up late, isn't he? Why not? It says yawn. Yawn. That's a big yawn, isn't it? I can yawn louder. You can? Okay, that was not a yawn. <laughs> it, I just... I was stretching. I was stretching. Mm -hmm. I don't believe wait, him. That, wait, that's his real face. It's... I'm yawn 101 awake. 110% awake. You haven't heard the yawn last of me. Oh, oh this yawn it is making me yawn. Z <laughs> Great work, thanks. Wait, no, wait, no. Z snork. Z Good night. Hot dog party! He's dreaming of a hot dog party, isn't he? What happened in this book? Um, the man didn't want the pigeon to stay up late. But what did the pigeon want to do? Stay up late. Yeah, he wanted to stay up late. He had every reason to stay up, to not go to bed, didn't he? Okay. I'm not tired. You're not tired? Neither was the pigeon, was he? <laughs> do you ever tell your parents that? Do you say, I'm not ready to go to bed yet? Or no, do you my, always my brother listen says, to bedtime? No. <laughs> is that what little person says? Okay, so the question is, should the pigeon be able to stay up late? We're going to give reasons. Yeah, no. No? Why do you not think the pigeon? Because so we'll put no. The pigeon should not be able to be up late. Be up late. And why not? Have you seen the newer ones? Because... No, the pigeon should not be able to stay up late because... What do you think? Um, what ideas do you have? Nothing. My brain doesn't think of anything. I know your brain thinks of things. You always come up with good ideas. No, the pigeon should not be able to stay up late because... What reason, why wouldn't you, why would you want to stay up late? Or why should, why is it important oh, to, to go to bed early? to play um, my phone. No, Wait, the, I actually um, have my phone in my pocket when I go to bed and I play it at night. Parker. Oh my goodness. No, the pigeon should not be able to to be up late because, so should we maybe say like, he would play on his phone? Like Parker? Yes. He would play on his phone. Um, why does it start with an a, a, um, F? Phone, so this PH, those two letters, when they come together, they also sound like they make that letter. But oh. you hear that when you hear, when, when I say phone, you do hear the F sound, doesn't it? Wait. But it's phone. Wait, can I, can I try to write it? Yeah. So. Park.
Parker R. Good job. Okay, so no, the pigeon should not be able to play to be up late because he would play on his phone. So, in this sentence, what sight words did you see that I wrote down? Hmm. Late. Is late a sight word? I think so. Okay, here. Oh, let's sit in our chair so you don't fall. Okay, so let's write down late hmm. so you remember that one. What other words in this sentence do you know? Mm, be and up and to. Be up to. Okay, you can write those the, down. The. That's a good one. And on. On. Okay, let's jot those down. So you said be. On. Or on. And he. And he. Okay, let's write down he. Gosh, you know so many of these, don't you? Do you practice with your flashcards? Good job. B. Two. What about this one? The. The. Good job. What about, do you know this word? His. Good job. And then we'll write one word that you learned from this. Let's write one word. I'll put a one. And then this is, or a star. And that's the word that we learned today. Which, which word did you learn today in this mm. sentence? No, the pigeon should not be able. Oh, phone, phone. Phone, yeah, let's write that one. So phone. And do you remember what I said about the P and the H? What did I say about those? It makes an F. It makes an F sound. Great job. Awesome job. That was fun today, wasn't it? Got to read a little bit about the pigeon and a little bit about Gaston. You did so awesome. Okay. Thank you, Parker.